Safety Mode. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. Today we have Dynamics eShop here today presenting on eShop on integrated e-commerce for NAV and D D365. And we ask that if you have any questions, please go ahead and type them into the questions box, and we will get them called out towards the end of the webinar. And we do record this webinar and all of our webinars, so it will be on our website later this week for you to review again, or if you'd like to share it with any other colleagues, you may do so. So I will turn it over to Naveen, and he will go ahead and start our presentation. Hey, thanks, Angie. Uh, again, thanks for the opportunity. And uh, as Angie mentioned, uh, today's topic is uh, about the integrated e-commerce for uh, Dynamics NAV as well as Dynamics uh, 365. So uh, in this demo, I'll be going over a brief overview of the uh, application and all the modules that we offer. And then we're going to run through some uh, actual product demonstration. And uh, again, at the end, maybe we leave some time for the Q&A. Okay. So uh, I'll be running a few slides. Uh, so quickly, as a company, uh, our uh, sole focus is e-commerce uh, and especially e-commerce for uh, Dynamics products. So we, as a company, uh, we only focus on this area. So our expertise pretty much lies around uh, the uh, Dynamics and AV product and uh, the Dynamics 365 uh, product as well as the uh, e-commerce. So basically the unique thing we know, we understand both e-commerce as well as the Dynamics ERP. So that's that's where uh, the strength of our product lies is the integration and also the uh, front-end uh, capabilities. So eShop utilizes standard uh, NAV APIs, the standard web services APIs to communicate with the uh, NAV to pull all the uh, functionality from NAV. So whatever business logic resides in NAV is available on the website, like the pricing structure, the availability inventory uh, pieces, all those reside only in NAV and on the website. Uh, it will display that uh, real time uh, during the customer logs in. And uh, we offer different uh, products. And uh, again, uh, our solution is one solution. Uh, it's an all-in-one solution, but based on the customer needs, you can just uh, uh, install or purchase a B2B or enable only B2C or you can mix and match uh, how you want it to uh, enable what you uh, based on your needs. So quickly, like B2B commerce, and we also utilize this for a customer portal or service portal where uh, a customer can have access to their specific prices and they can place orders. And these customers are already your existing customers in NAV. And uh, based on the logins that are uh, provided by you guys, uh, the, your customer can log in and uh, place orders and check on existing orders or run any NAV reports, like they can download those reports from the website. And B2C commerce, this one is primarily on the commerce or retail side. So if you wanted to open your store for the public who can uh, basically browse the catalog, uh, without even logging in, they can see the prices, they can place orders, they can register, and uh, uh, they can uh, place orders. When they register, it automatically comes into NAV as a customer or as a contact. And then uh, once they place order, it goes against that particular order. Again, like in the B2C scenario, you might be uh, collecting uh, funds based on the uh, PayPal or credit card, so some form. So in the B2B, you might have terms customers. 
And sales portal is primarily for your internal or external salespeople where uh, they can uh, log into the portal and they can access their customers, place orders in behalf of the customer, or check order uh, statuses or account management from the portal. So this is very handy when the salespeople is out on the road and they are at the customer site or at the trade show, they wanted to take orders, they can right away take those orders uh, on their phone or on their uh, laptops. And the supplier vendor portal, again, one of the unique things uh, eShop offers is a full-fledged uh, uh, procurement or the vendor portal uh, supply chain management where uh, suppliers can log in and they can submit their uh, bids like uh, you can provide them the rfqs and they can review them and they can bid on it or place uh, their uh, offers based on that uh, you can convert them to purchase orders vendor can accept the purchase order and uh, send the shipment details and upload their invoices or download their reports uh, right from the portal so this is a unique uh, solution offered by eShop and mobile commerce as we know these days everything is mobile so all the websites that we build are basically a responsive website that means uh, any device that you log in from uh, the uh, website will automatically adjust to that particular uh, screen so that, that way uh, you don't need a separate mobile app because our website becomes a mobile uh, app on a phone like an iPhone or Android or on a, a device that is um, bigger sizes like iPad or something. And uh, quickly again, just a quick glance of other products that we do offer uh, is like uh, the connectors to Magento. If somebody is using Magento, we have a connector for that. We have a connector to Amazon, uh, eBay. So we can uh, basically uh, push and pull uh, products and orders from uh, the Amazon into NAV and same thing from eBay. And we do offer our solutions in both uh, on-premise or cloud uh, solution, so uh, it depends on uh, the customer needs. We have uh, both options uh, as a SaaS model or a on-premise model. Again, uh, for any e-commerce uh, system, a couple of things that are uh, by default needed, like uh, a payment processor, processing so we have a integration to the uh, major uh, gateways like authorized.net paypal and if you if you guys are using uh, charge logic or some uh, credit card system in any way we have a uh, direct uh, integration to the charge logic connect and uh, uh, other uh, uh, credit card systems that are built into NAV. And the shipping providers, so we do offer real-time integration to FedEx, UPS, USPS, or uh, like a, a major carriers like Canada Post or some other uh, DHL and other uh, carriers. But uh, we also have integration to the Lanham eShip and uh, uh, custom rate tables. So if you have custom rate tables, uh, eShop does offer the uh, backend to provide those uh, based on the weight or based on the uh, volume of the uh, cart. And uh, the catalog and price management. So we always recommend, or the, one of the main things that uh, we uh, uh, recommend is everything originates in NAV, especially when it comes to the SKU numbers and uh, category structure. So you can build this in NAV. You already have your products built in NAV and uh, the price already specified in NAV, the inventory is already in NAV. So we don't need to uh, do a duplication of your price or inventory because we are just looking at your existing structure. So eShop, uh, 
uh, basically pulls the standard NAV prices uh, and uh, any promotions, quantity discounts, or all that uh, that is already offered in NAV. And if there are any customizations to your price logic, those will also be honored because we are using standard NAV's uh, price uh, management uh, logic. And uh, But when it comes to the content, as we know, uh, it is not built for a uh, content management system. So we have a full-fledged uh, content management system where you can uh, build your videos or long description, formatted descriptions like specification document, download documents, and look and feel of the product uh, is all managed in the backend uh, content management system. So we provide a full powerful CMS system where without programming, uh, you guys uh, can uh, modify the uh, look and feel of the uh, website and also manage all your data. And we also offer the full marketing website. So uh, a lot of the times the customer just want one website for both shopping cart and also their marketing website. So with our uh, eShop, you can build both marketing pages as well as the catalog pages for purchasing. And um, the taxes, so eShop utilizes standard NAV taxes. So if the tax tables are set up in NAV, those will automatically pull down to the website. Uh, if uh, the uh, Avalara or some subscription is set up in NAV, then we directly pull from the uh, Avalara. So we have integration to the Avalara and the CCH systems. And the online order management. So one of the unique things about eShop uh, is uh, doesn't matter where the order is created. So let's say if one order is created from NAV, one order comes from EDI, one comes from the website. But when the customer logs into his account on the website, he will see all the orders straight from NAV. So again, there is no need of uh, sync and batch process. So Let's say if we go live today and there is like a five years of history, then that customer can immediately see all the historical orders from last five years. Again, like we can restrict how many years we wanted to show, but by default, uh, eShop can uh, show anything that is in NAV. And uh, we, we do provide uh, open orders, closed orders, invoices, shipments, and uh, credit memos, payments, anything on their customer ledger entry are, are displayed and the customer can also pay from the website on open invoices. So, and uh, the email management, so again, like any standard e-commerce, once a order is confirmed, we send out a confirmation email to the customer as well as the store owner so that they know that hey an order is created on the website same thing when somebody registers uh, they get a notification but when it comes to the shipment email we do send that from NAV because the shipment happens in NAV and the tracking information all that is stored in NAV so that information is uh, pulled from NAV and sent out as an email during the shipment in NAV Again, uh, these are some of our uh, customers, the most I can fit in one slide. Uh, and uh, so again, as I mentioned at this demo, uh, like we have the app available on the Dynamics 365. So anybody who wanted to try it out and maybe test it, trial it, uh, they can download from the app source and uh, and they can play with the eShop system. And uh, the, our system, one of the unique things is like we did not modify much in an AV, so there are only seven objects modified in an AV, and uh, we offer our uh, system as a uh, uh, extension. So what that means is uh, basically uh, you can install and uninstall very easily and upgrades becomes very easy with our product. So most of the time when Microsoft releases a new version, within one week, uh, we make our product available on the new version. 
So we are always up to the, the current version of NAV and we plan to keep it that way. Okay, so that, those are my uh, few slides that I wanted to uh, uh, run through. Uh, let me uh, let me go to the website. Again, I'm like using a uh, demo template here, but one of the thing that we uh, eShop offers is like we offer like uh, multiple templates. Uh, basically, when I say multiple templates, that means uh, uh, the look and feel of the website. So out of the box, we have like 30 templates and also we offer like multiple plugins and there are like hundreds of plugins out there in the market. Uh, so it's uh, there is third party applications. They are building uh, apps that uh, you can download. Uh, if you are looking for an extension, then there is, might be already one extension. So, uh, so when it comes to the home page, everything is configurable. So right now I'm using one of our demo templates. Uh, and here on the home screen, I have my products listed. Uh, and these products, I have like different categories. And within that category, I can have the subcategory. So there is the area you can have like multi-level category structure. So this uh, this is built in NAV and published onto the website. And we also support manufacturers. So if somebody wanted to uh, look at uh, uh, products based on the manufacturers or brand, then those can be added as a manufacturer. Again, this is integrated to NAV manufacturers and uh, it will show on to the website. And um, again, like different uh, links, uh, these menu items can be easily added uh, from the back end. It's easy, very configurable. Uh, what menus, if you have custom menus, you can add them onto the main screen. And this banner, the banner is also very configurable and these banners can be basically displayed anywhere on the website so if you want a banner by category that banner can be added on a, only that category or if you want a banner for sale going on on different areas you can put it that and you can schedule those banners let's say i wanted to run this banner only for uh, one day let's say you have black friday coming then you can put a banner just for one uh, one day and it automatically shows and uh, uh, goes away after the scheduled time. And these banners can be customer specific. So if you have, uh, especially in the customer portal and if you want the portal to be a customer specific experience, then when he logs in, he will see his own logo or his own uh, specific banner so that's uh, available uh, on the banners and uh, when it comes to like the uh, feature categories again like some of the featured categories i have on the home page featured products new products so these tabs again can be configured from the back end so if you have some specific uh, promo uh, that you wanted to display then you can just have like a uh, our offers banner and uh, all these are basically uh, uh, a J carousel so you can configure what products you want to display in each of these uh, uh, run through so it's all uh, based on the back end setup that you have and manufacturers again this can be and the footer footer is all configurable so pretty much uh, the links here you can add any links or remove change uh, existing links or you can have completely different uh, uh, footer itself and links to your facebook all that standard stuff pretty standard basic stuff and we do support the newsletter subscribers if somebody subscribes you, you can put them into your marketing campaign so we do offer like marketing campaigns and stuff from the back end. Again, so from the homepage perspective, everything is up to the customer, how you want it to display. And let me quickly jump into like a product uh, list page. And here on the uh, list, 
I can see based on my list, I automatically get the filters on the left side. And these filters are basically based on the uh, products that we have. And let's say I wanted to see only green products, then I can see like uh, only uh, maybe this item has like a, if I go into that item, it has like a variant drop down of color. So that's why it was showing in that uh, uh, attribute. So based on the attributes, I wanted to see only cotton products or nylon products, then I can see those. And these are linked to your attributes in an AV. So based on attributes that are specified to a product, uh, those will automatically become a filter on the website. And we can also, we also support like full text search. Let's say I wanted to search uh, radiance and then it will show all the matching uh, uh, items uh, with that uh, text. Let me pick this particular item. And I wanted to talk a little bit about how the pricing and how the inventory uh, works in the shop. So let's take this particular item. I want to jump into NAV. So again, like from the NAV perspective, once we install the eShop, you'll have the eShop menu here. And again, in the eShop menu, there are a couple of uh, eShop related objects, but some of them are standard uh, NAV objects. But I wanted to jump into that item that I wanted to so here is the uh, radiance item. And as you can see, like I have quantity of 1000 and already on sales order 16. So my uh, availability should be 984 based on uh, incoming, uh, based on the inventory, based on the sales order, based on the incoming purchase order. So eShop is looking at standard availability. So as somebody places order, it immediately decrements the quantity because it's on sales order, it's not available anymore. And again, like we can display without quantity or just message in stock, out of stock, or if you don't want, we can just don't store, show anything in the system. And let's talk about the price. So right now it's showing me as a list price of 30 and price as 25. So basically we eShop uses standard list price and let's see what prices we have. So here I have for all customers $25. So that's why it is showing me like a, a discounted price of 25 and it using the standard NAV sales orders. And let's say I wanted to uh, edit this to 20 bucks or something, right? And uh, once I go onto the website, refresh it, it immediately shows me that 20 bucks. So based on NAV uh, and without logging in, this is what I, it is showing. Let's say I, I wanted to log in as a B2B customer. So like, let's say I already have an account within uh, this guy and jump into that product, you'll see uh, already the price is $15 because for this particular uh, customer, uh, I'll show for 10,000 customer, I have a price of $15. So basically it's using the specific customer prices. And again, like eShop doesn't care how these are set up, whatever is set up, and if they are working in an AV, then that's how the eShop will basically pick up the prices. So we support everything that NAV offers when it comes to the prices, whether it's based on the price group, customer, all customers, uh, and min max quantities, and if they have variance uh, pricing, all those are automatically supported on the website. And quickly, like uh, the user, how that user, when I log in, how do I know that? Uh, so basically in the NAV, we have uh, a user table uh, for eShop and in the eShop admin uh, user is connected to 10,000. So that's how the website knows when I log in, everything dictates based on that 10,000 customer. 
So this is like a standard uh, product, and you can see uh, a couple of things on here, overview. Uh, we have like a long formatted description. We also have like flyers. If I wanted to see my flyer of this product, uh, then I can just uh, click on it. So it has a PDF links. We also support the videos. Any other download materials, specifications like the attributes of the product. So all these are based on the tabbing structure, and these are managed directly in the content management system. So for for some reason, if you want a different tab here, you can just go and add it in the backend. So let me quickly jump into the backend. And uh, here is the uh, back end uh, where I can access this directly from NAV or I can do uh, go from here. Let me pick that product item. 8233. So here is the product uh, from the content management side where you have access to the full description. So, here you can insert uh, videos, images, or links, or do formatting, or you can put scripts like source code. If you wanted to share it, uh, like it, all those uh, standard social media stuff, you can put those links directly in here. And we also support full uh, SEO, the search engine optimization. So this is one of the uh, important things when you're converting into the new system, uh, basically having the visibility on the uh, Google search uh, indexes. So this is where you can manage what kind of keywords. If somebody is looking for a jacket, then your product should uh, show up on the top. So you can manage all that custom URLs based on the SEO pictures. Multiple pictures are supported. Multiple category mappings are supported. So for each product, multiple categories can be assigned. Uh, multiple uh, brands or manufacturers can be supported on a product. And uh, specifications, so this is the attributes. And uh, product attributes, I'll talk a little bit here, but uh, basically it will show if you are using variant structure in an AV like size and color those will uh, show up uh, here and those are mapped into NAV. And a couple of other things we do support like customer specific or customer group specific login. So based on my login, I can restrict what product I can see. Basically, uh, for, let's say for dealers, you want to have a different catalog and for uh, wholesale customers, you wanna have a different uh, uh, catalog, you can manage uh, that from the back end and you can create different uh, customer uh, types or roles. And based on that role, we restrict the website what they can see. And we do support multi-store. So if you wanted to have like one database with multiple product line website, multiple URLs, then you can build on one uh, uh, database, uh, but you can have completely different uh, website with look and feel and different products and stuff. So we do support multi-store capability, the related products. Again, these are the products that show on the main uh, page, like uh, the similar products uh, kind of thing. Cross-sell or like upsell uh, on the shopping cart, these will show. When somebody is buying a TV, maybe HDMI cable will show up. Again, based on what setup you have, it will show that. Associated products, again, you can associate like, uh, like if you're selling like multiple uh, products, similar products can be in one page. Generally, we use this for multi-unit of measure. So if somebody is buying a pack or unit or six pack, seven pack or whatever packs, then you can associate all together into one page. So tabs, so this is where you can specify what tabs you wanted to show on the screen. So uh, again, these tabs are pretty standard, uh, like a text format, uh, like a word template. Again, in these tabs, whatever information you wanted to add can be easily added onto those uh, tabs. Let's go back onto that product. And again, so this is like a simple product. So I wanted to quickly show you like how a, variant product looks like. So this is a variant product. 
again when i say variant basically if somebody has to select like a size or color and these are set up as variants in nav so everything uh standard that is available on nav we have but uh, we also allow to have like multiple drop down so if somebody wanted to see multi drop down and we do have integration to the kit, uh, the product uh, bill of materials in NAV, and these will automatically create say assembly order when somebody purchases this item. So you can see like they can select, okay, I wanted the gloves, I want eyewear. So basically like a, they are building a configurable uh, kit for themselves. And this will create an assembly order in the back end. So we are utilizing the standard NAV bill of materials for this. And we do support like multi unit of measures and stuff. So the, earlier I said like you can uh, put all the products in one page. So this is uh, where you can put like a multi unit of measure. Right now I have different products in place, but you can utilize this for multi unit of measure. Okay, so let me uh, go on to a product and I wanted to purchase some stuff. So right now I logged in as that 10,000 customer. So let me add this to the cart. Again, this is just like a mini shopping cart view where you can see what you are adding. And here you can see the related product and here we can put cross sell products or something so that customer can immediately see what are like a recommended products goes with that thing. Okay, on the shopping cart, as you can see, like we do pull the prices based on the uh, customer log, and if there are any discounts, it automatically shows discounts. If there is any line discounts, those will show up as a line discount. And uh, uh, we do uh, allow to enter like a comments or additional information, and this will basically become a sales order comments, which can be printed on the uh, pick ticket or packing ticket so this will automatically print on those like it can be a gift message or shipping instructions and we also support like if you want to have the customer submit their purchase order uh, or, or something uh, or a scanned PDF document or something they can uh, upload their uh, POs and those will come into uh, the NAV as a link And one other important thing uh, for e-commerce, uh, the coupons. So we added a whole new layer in NAV for coupons. So buy one, get one free, or buy one, get one off, or those kind of coupons. Those can be set up straight in NAV. And uh, you can, uh, we can do like coupon type of buy one, get one free, or percentage discount, or dollar discounts, minimum orders those kind of coupons and these can be used on the website or in nav directly so they can enter a coupon code and that will discount do the discounts we also support the gift cards so if somebody is trying to purchase uh, a uh, gift card they can do it from the website or a store owner can issue a gift card and uh, when somebody places order with gift card we track all these remaining balances from the back end and uh, that information also passed into NAV. And we do uh, support the rate shopping. People can do rate shop and these are cross sell items that we set up in the back end. Let me check out and here you can see the billing address and the shipping addresses are coming straight from NAV. So all the addresses are maintained only in the NAV ship to address table and on the website we pull those and if somebody adds a new address that will go into the shipping address uh, screen. So it's always one address so people can change it from NAV or customer can change it from the website. And we do support in-store pickups. And the shipping methods right now, I have just the ground, but you can set up UPS, FedEx, or uh, other carriers. Uh, I'll show in a second uh, when I'm in the back end where they can be set up. And here we can do like charge logic credit card or the other credit cards. Uh, in the PO scenario, I'll just put the uh, PO. 
And once I confirm this, it basically creates a order in NAV, and here is the order number that is coming straight from NAV. So here, let's go into standard sales orders. Here is my orders. And once I get this order number, so here is the order number that we just uh, placed. And uh, basically, it's, it sits in the standard sales order in an open state, and there is a flag which says it came from the web. But other than that, uh, it's a standard NAV sales order, and the processing of the web orders is same as how you do your uh, standard uh, NAV orders. And for any changes, like let's say if somebody uh, calls you and they wanted to change the quantity on the existing order, I can quickly change. And when I update that, if I look at my order details in the website, I can see the changes that are made in NAV. So basically this screen is looking at your NAV. Once they shipped it, if they put the tracking number, that tracking number will be displayed on the website. So this is uh, basically if they are doing partial shipments or multiple shipments, they can do that uh, in NAV and they can immediately see on the website and they can also download the order confirmation report. Uh, let's say, uh, and this is nothing but your standard NAV sales order confirmation page or uh, report. So if you have custom report for the sales uh, order confirmation with your logo, all the formatting and stuff, those will immediately show on the website because the eShop is just calling your NAV reports. And we do support reorders, so people can reorder from the existing or they can buy using the quick order. Again, like this one is more if they know their uh, uh, SKU number, they can put the SKU number and add it to the cart. And we do actually on this demo, I don't have, but we can upload directly from the Excel. So the customer can download a template Excel, fill out all the SKUs, the quantity they want, and they can upload it back and that will create the uh, shopping cart for them. And let's go into the My Account section. So here is the My Account section where the customer can view their information, their addresses, their balance information. They can see all their addresses. If they wanted to add a new shipping address or edit the existing one, they can do that from the account section. Open order shows all the open orders in the system against that customer. And they can, uh, again, like uh, they can look at it or they can look at the closed orders. These are the posted invoices. I can view them. And here is the posted invoices. And if they wanted to download that posted invoice, uh, same thing, it will uh, download the NAV invoice report and they can print it. Okay, so that's with that and transactions. And again, like this is very, they can see all the account activity, like the invoices, credit memos, payments, all the activities in the system for their account. And also what's remaining, what's open. And if there is something not paid, they can pay from the website uh, on the existing invoices. Reports. Again, like this is where we can literally add any reports in NAV onto the website. So if you wanted to give them the written order report or sales order report or any report, uh, those can be downloaded directly from the website. So if I wanted to see all my sales orders in the system, then I can just run this report and it will uh, create the uh, sales order uh, report for everything that I have in the system. I have to. Okay, so that's a typical uh, B2B uh, scenario where I already had a login and I placed, but let's say if I'm, uh, I, I don't have a login and I wanted to purchase something, then I can uh, directly uh, do a registration on the website and when I do a registration, uh, 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 what happens is, uh, it will create an account in NAV. Again, like the, there are two ways uh, we can do this is basically the customer can register or they can buy as a guest. So we do support a checkout as a guest. 
and that will uh, basically creates an order in NAV with a uh, one uh, B2C customer, but when I register, it automatically creates a customer account in NAV. Let's say I'll do one. Let's So once I register and place order, you will see all this information in an AV. So here I register now, let's say I wanted to buy some product, I'll buy the same product uh, uh, to cut. And uh, as you can see, my uh, when I go into uh, the prices, so you can see earlier it was 15, but for this guy it was 20 because we, we set up for all customers a 20 price. So for retail customers, this is the price it's displaying. And let me check out, and when I check out, here is the, oh, I had an issue with that. Uh, let me, I think I had a duplicate account. Let me quickly see if I can create a one more account. Okay, so same thing uh, on the shipping addresses. I can see only one shipping address that came from the registration. So this registration address, or I can enter a new shipping address as a B2C customer. And um, uh, again, like I can, uh, in the B2C scenario, I can put my credit card in for Continue, I always miss one. Okay, once I confirm this again, I wanted to show what happened in NAV. So this is a new order that created and which customer it used. So let's see. Here is the new order and you can see this order is created in NAV standard sales order and it is associated to this new customer it created. So I can see that web customer number it created and I can also see the eShop user that is associated to this account. So this is the user that registered on the website and this is the email he provided and that automatically created a customer account and that with that customer account, when he placed order, it created a sales order. So basically without any human uh, interaction, uh, the customer service interaction, everything is automated on the uh, real time uh, basis. And as a, a B2C customer, again, I have access to all my backend system like uh, account information and stuff, so standard. Uh, a B2C guy also have access to all that. And let me quickly log in as a salesperson. And when I log in as a salesperson on the top, you can see that I have a drop down with all my customers. So I can see all my customer accounts and I can uh, basically uh, place orders or check my account information. And let's say like, uh, 
I have this particular uh, item which is showing 20, but if I pick a different customer, it will show the customer prices specific to that uh, selection. So now it's $15. So basically it's acting as if that customer is logged in and I can place orders uh, using that uh, account. Or also one other important thing with the salesperson is he has the ability to override the price or give some discounts. In the customer scenario, this is not available because you cannot allow customer to put whatever price. So in the uh, other scenario, in the salesperson scenario, they can update, they, uh, they can give some uh, promotion to the customer. And they can also look at their uh, addresses or uh, their uh, information, uh, account information as I select uh, my customer. And, uh, and one thing I think I didn't show you, but like let's say if I had to open this in a mobile, then it will automatically adjust to that screen size. So you can see now like uh, basically all my products is in one line instead of two lines. So basically this is the responsiveness of the site uh, and that will automatically adjust. So salesperson can just open the site on the website. They can select their customer and place orders in, right on the mobile phone. And let me log in as a vendor. When I log in as a vendor in the My Account section as a supplier or as a vendor, I have access to my vendor information. I have access to my purchase quotes, all my purchase quotes in the system, my purchase orders. And on the purchase orders, let's say I wanted to update uh, like as a vendor I say like hey I can give this instead of 23 maybe I can give it for 20 bucks and I can ship it uh, instead of 31 I can ship it on, on the 30th and uh, here are comments and once I do this and update it it immediately updates this information straight into that particular purchase order in the system so if I go into NAV uh, purchase orders uh, you'll see that uh, information that I updated on the website. So here is my purchase orders. Here is the purchase order that uh, I they made some comments and uh, updated the price. You can see that uh, whatever 20 bucks I did and uh, then the expected uh, receipt date that I updated and the comments on the portal. So again, this will communicate from the vendor to the NAV directly, and they can also print their uh, invoices from the uh, portal, and also they can look at all their purchase invoices. Uh, they, they want to upload their scan documents, like invoices or anything, they can scan, upload documents, and this will go against the purchase order or on the vendor account as a link in the system and they can see all the uploads that they already did and they can download documents. So if you wanted to give them any country specific uh, approval documents like uh, like a maybe W9 form or like a vendor onboarding agreement. So they can download, sign it and they can upload. All that will be automated directly on the website and the reports again, they wanted to print all their purchase order reports. They can just go onto the portal run that and here are all my purchase orders in the system. So pretty much the vendor can do all that stuff uh, directly from the uh, vendor portal. And all this uh, we have is standard uh, from NAV fields, but if there is any custom fields that we need to add, we can add that from the uh, uh, NA. If the information is in NAV, then we can add that. Oops. Uh, let me log in quickly onto my port uh, backend. So from the backend also you have, uh, uh, I have access to what the store statistics. So here I can see all the store stats, how many orders placed, how many people registered, what are the things they are searching for like doing analytics. Way, what they are doing or what they are uh, searching for, best sellers, all that things. But the key things, like uh, we provide like a lot of plugins. So 
there are like bunch of plugins that are available like if you wanted to do like a facebook shop or uh, put it uh, put your create a facebook shop then we have a plugin for that we have plugin for amazon ebay uh, google uh, shopping again the, like there is so many plugins uh, if there is some custom thing you wanted instead of building from scratch there might be third party already developed a plugin for us like ups integration uh, all that uh, plugins that are uh, a pretty uh, standard ones that uh, are already in there or you can get uh, something from uh, outside we do support like uh, uh, the goal of the chat and all that uh, plugins and with the topic pages basically you can build any number of pages let's say if you want to build a faq page or a customer assistance or service page and then it basically you can put all your information like it will create a, a link for you with all the information that you build so basically it will be like a marketing uh, a static page so we do support like uh, uh, any number of pages and this can be like printed up uh, and you can put like source code videos or something so most of the time if you have like static pages like maybe the contact page like your customer information about us page or shipping instruction pages all that pages you can build on your own and we do support newsletter subscribers all the campaigns uh, like you can create a campaign and send out to email to those and we also have integration to the mailchimp or constant contact so if uh, somebody is using those uh, those can be automatically uh, the newsletter subscribers are sent on to the on to that uh, platforms uh, in a integrated for fashion and uh, other things like we have like coupons and stuff that i mentioned earlier so we have nav coupons as well as the website where you can set up like coupons and these coupons can be assigned to order total or shipping or categories and you can specify coupon code unlimited uh, or is it one per one customer so all that uh, different ways of setting up those coupons again coupons can be complicated the way you wanted to set it up but uh, we do support that and then uh, the shipping method configurations to shipping rate comp uh, computation so here we have some of the uh, plugins but again like we have other plugins that we did not install but if you use FedEx then we do support your account rates and stuff and then you can specify which method service types that you wanted to display on the portal same thing with the UPS or USPS all these are pretty uh, standard and then the same thing with the payments so integrations to payments uh, like authorized.net paypal all that you can configure with your account and if you wanted to charge them additional percentage you can add on top of uh, the uh, shopping cart and uh, again like we do support like multi-language so if you do want to set up multiple languages multiple currencies so all that uh, multi stuff uh, is supported and you can enable any number of uh, currencies on the website again the other plugins like uh, sliders or if you wanted to change colors of the website like uh, we do support like uh, different color schemes and you can just change the color in the back end and it will immediately on the front end now like it will be like a blue color uh, shade on the uh, websites on buttons and stuff like it will become like blue color uh, but you have full access to the HTML files and the content files, uh, the CSS files. If you wanted to further enhance or change, uh, you can do that. And uh, this is where we support uh, the slider. So on the home page slider, if you wanted to add pictures of your own banners, you can add them and you can schedule the uh, banners uh, when you wanted to run that and condition. So here is where you can set up like, okay, if I log in, I get this banner. If I log in as this customer, I can get this particular banner. So all those can be basically configured uh, from here. 
again, like uh, there are a lot of uh, plugins and things which are very self-explanatory, uh, uh, which can be uh, easily uh, gone through by anybody who has some uh, knowledge about websites. So those are the standard things uh, that I think I wanted to cover and I wanted to leave a little bit of time for uh, questions. So Angie, I think I wanted to open the floor uh, for uh, questions. Yes, if anyone does have any questions, please uh, type them in to the questions box and uh, Naveen will get those answered for you. We'll allow a few moments. Okay, yeah, again, like uh, I'm sure like I poured a lot of information uh, in this uh, one hour, uh, but uh, if we need to uh, get a questions from an email, just uh, email Angie and uh, Angie can send it to me. Okay, that sounds good. Just a reminder, um, this is being recorded, so like I said earlier, we will have it available on our website later this week for you to review again, or if you'd like to share it with any other colleagues, you're more than welcome to. And we encourage you to also visit our website and um, check out our other events that we have going on, and we're always changing those, so be sure to take a look at those and register for any of our upcoming events. We have a couple of um, webinars left for the month. Uh, next week we have a webinar and um, Equisys is actually doing that webinar next week and they will be discussing how to become a paperless and achieve a fast ROI and that's next week and tomorrow we actually have one. Uh, Steve Waltz is presenting from Anovia and he will be doing his uh, webinar presentation on sales coaching so if you're interested in that um, please register and we have our customer conference coming up in April April 18th and 19th it's in the Wisconsin Dells Chula Vista Resort and Conference Center that is a free event for you to attend, and we'd love to have you there and um, meet our uh, ISVs that are presenting. And um, like I said, it's a free event, so uh, register for that. That's April 18th and 19th. Uh, Naveen, no questions have come through, so um, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the webinar. Thank you, everyone, for attending, and thank you, Naveen, for presenting. It was very informative. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Angie. You're welcome. We look forward to seeing um, you all at our next webinar. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.